Hello everyone! Hi, hi, hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Nash and you are watching a splash of Nash. So, today I decided to create this beautiful fall makeup look and I used the Naked Heat palette for my eyes as well as a couple different palettes. So if you want to see how I created this look, mm -mm, then make sure you just stay tuned. And if you don't want to miss any other videos of mine, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. On my channel, we do lots of makeup tutorials, we do makeup reviews. I also do BoxyCharm and Ipsy unboxings every month on my channel, so you don't want to miss that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get into the video. All right, so looks like I didn't bring anything to pin my hair back with, so I'm just going to flip it just behind. I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer just to prime my face before we start everything. And I mainly just like to take this within my T-zone area the most, and this is just going to smooth out the pores, any texture as well as keep my face actually a little bit mattified, which is nice. Isn't this a cute hairdo? Mmm. Ah. So today for foundation, I'm going to go into my Estee Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of the Hydrate and Smooth. This is in the shade 235, so this is just going to be to darken the foundation a little bit. And then my Double Wear is in the shade 1W2 Sand. And what I'm going to do is just mix the two of them on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to put... Oh, a little bit too much of oh, that much double wear. And then about this much double wear. And then I'm just going to take the end of a brush just to mix that all together. Good. And then I'm just going to bring this on my face. I hope you guys like the new setup. This is my first video filming here, so hopefully it works out okay. All right, and then I'm just going to go in with my crown brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, I forgot to turn on my ring light. Whew, sorry, the lighting. Lighting has changed. Hopefully it looks better. <laughs> I completely forgot about turning my ring light on. Anyways, I'm just continuing to buff that in. I was like, why can I hardly see myself in the mirror? Like, why is it so dark in here? <laughs> I don't have any lights on. Duh. Some days I wonder about myself. And I just like to bring it up on my ear a little bit just to blend it all together. I really love this brush for foundation. It really just buffs and blends everything in seamlessly and it gives you a little bit fuller coverage I find for most foundations compared to using like a beauty sponge or a beauty blender, especially with more dewy coverage foundations. I like it a lot. And then just with any extra I'm just going to go and add coverage, a little bit more coverage to where I need it, like on my cheeks and my chin. I hope I'm in focus. I moved the camera a little bit closer before I would have to press it so I don't have a, a viewfinder or anything like that. So before I'd have to run around behind the camera, press it, focus it to like just the background and then run in and I wasn't completely in focus I was finding. So I moved it a bit closer so I can auto focus it while I'm sitting down. Only problem was with that is you just gotta hope that it actually catches you and focuses on my face because I don't know I don't have it doesn't there's no flip screen on it so I can't see what I look like if I'm in focus if I'm in frame so this is a test I guess see if it works I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape this is in the shade Fair this is really a good color for me when I am at my palest it's a little light for me right now in the summer because I do have a little bit of a tan but I can make it work it's fine and then I'm just gonna go in with my pure beauty sponge and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out I'm gonna quickly go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just gonna bake under my eyes and then set the rest of my face as well I like to bake my smile lines a little bit just because they do tend to crease throughout the day. And then I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush just to quickly set the rest of my face down. Okay, so on to some brows. I'm going into the Brow Gal by Tonya Crux. This is the Convertible Brow 02. And I'm just going to go start with this middle shade here. I guess first comb out my brows. And then just like I said, into the middle shade. 
and just start carving those bad boys out. So next I'm just going to go in with this darkest, the darkest shade in this little palette and just bring that on the outer part of the brow, just to deepen it up a little bit. So the solar eclipse was this morning, it just happened here. I live up in Canada, so we got about... I think they said 75 or 80 percent of the uh, the uh, solar eclipse. So I didn't get to see, of course, all of it, but or really any of it because I didn't get the proper eyewear. I tried to look at it, and then I think I had this white big spot on my right eye for like a good hour. <laughs> Typical. But uh, I guess let's just hope I don't go blind. Next, I brought up a couple things here for my eyeshadow. I got this Pacifica Island Life Natural Mineral Eyeshadows in an Ipsy bag a couple months back. So I haven't used it. It comes with a little sponge. It looks pretty, so I want to maybe try and incorporate this in the look today. I also brought my Naked Cosmetics little palette here. There's no name on it, so I don't even know what it's called. Cool. But it has these bright shades. I was thinking about maybe going in with this shade for like a lid. I don't know yet. We're going to play around. And then I also brought up my Naked Heat palette as well. Because I think this is perfect for fall time. This is going to be good for fall. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. I'm just going to kind of play around a little bit and see kind of what comes out. I haven't had, I don't have anything planned. As usual. I'm going to go into this uh, Pacifica palette and I'm going to start just with this. Most left shade here. Is there any shade names on the back? No. Just the lightest shade here. I'm just going to put that all over my lid to start. Oh wow, so they are pigmented. They do have a little bit of fallout and this shadow is a, has a little bit of shine to it, which it didn't look like it did in the pan. But that's okay. We'll make it work. But yeah, wow, it is pigmented. I will give it that. I was not expecting that for a Pacifica palette. Because these are pretty cheap palettes, I think. Like, I think Pacifica sold, I want to say, Target. Don't quote me on that. I'm from Canada, so we don't have Target here. But I'm pretty sure in the States is where these guys are sold. So, I imagine they're pretty cheap. That shade, I really liked it. A little bit shiny for all over, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to go in with Chaser in the Naked Heat palette, just right here. And I'm just going to put that in to... I'm just going to put that into my crease. And I am going to use Royal and Langnickel. This is the Moda Pro Collection, or is it a separate brand? I'm not sure. And this is just the BMX 430 crease brush. And like I said, I'm just going to dip into Chaser. And I'm just going to apply that to my crease. Chaser for me is the perfect transition shade to start everything off because it's literally like one shade darker than my skin tone. So it's just gonna help blend everything out a little bit better. And then next with the same brush, I'm gonna go into Sauced in the palette here as well. Just this shade right there. And I'm just gonna build up the crease a little bit more. I think these colors are gonna be so pretty for fall. Like I'm just so excited to see these shades in fall on my eyes. I'm just so excited for fall. I just love fall. It's my favorite season. It's so pretty when all the leaves fall off and all the different colors. And you can wear like layers and little cardigans. Oh, it's just my favorite. I really kind of want to try and use this like, it's like a mustard yellow in here. And I think it just looks so pretty, but I think it's shimmery and I don't want to use that on the lid. Hold on, let me just try it with a brush. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so scratch that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use that Pacifica palette today. This is not what I'm going for right now. So, we're going to stick to the little Naked palette, and I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going to go in with He Devil. Again, just into my crease some more, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of a smaller blending brush. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with this blending brush. This is a Lexi 237 blending brush. 
and into, like I said, He Devil. And I'm just going to bring this into the crease just to define the crease a little bit more. I'm not going to bring it all the way in though. Just about there, about half, three quarters of the way. And then mainly focus it on my outer V. Ooh, killing it. I love this color, He Devil. Oh, I think it's just so pretty. I think I'm going to go into En Fuego. Just this color on the end here. And I think I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush with that guy. So I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is a BH Cosmetics 132 brush. And I'm really just going to place that right in the V. Just to deepen the V up a little bit more. Let's see, let's just carry it in just a touch. Okay, so I'm not feeling this brush. I changed my mind. I'm going to go into the Crown Pro. This is a C513 brush. Okay, into that in fuego shade, I'm doing the same thing. Just placing that right in the in the in the V. Just to deepen it up a little bit more. I'm just slightly bringing that onto the lid. And then back into the Lexi 237. Same one I used with no extra product. I use this one for He Devil. And just make sure I'm blending out the edges from in fuego. I'm thinking about so I don't know I don't know if I want to go in with this shade or this shade this shade or this shade this shade or this shade I'll be like a really burnt or like a purpley I'm gonna go in with this one yeah I'm gonna go into the middle orange shade this guy I'm gonna grab just a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna start Look how pigmented that is. And that's with no, like, this is not a wet brush. Oh, man. So pretty. And I'm just going to go kind of in the center of my lid with that. So what I like to do is just kind of place it on in the vicinity that I want it. God, this shade just looks spoiled. It is so pretty. Mmm. Can't get over it. Okay. So I kind of just like to place the product. When it's this type of shade, just kind of where I want it. I'm going to go in with my Luxie brush that I used. And I'm going to pick up more of In Fuego. And just make sure that they're kind of blended together. Okay, so now I want to brighten up the inner corner a little bit. Maybe we could go in with this mustard shade. <laughs> I just really so badly want to use this damn mustard shade in the inner corners. That might look cool. Okay. Okay, okay, I got excited now. Okay, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with, this is a Real Techniques brush. Uh, a detailer brush. It does not have a shade number on it. But it's a detailer brush and it's just this little guy. I'm going to go ahead and just spray it with some Urban Decay setting spray. Because I really want that orange color to pop. Really getting the brush in there, pick up a good amount of product, and then, oh hell yeah. Okay, so I feel like this shade you definitely have to pack. You don't want to be like rubbing it because it will not stick properly. It'll just kind of rub away. So this is a shade you definitely just want to like pack on there. Mmm! Mmm mmm! Yeah! Wow, I feel like a fall rainbow. I love it. Okay, and let's just bring it kind of down here as well. So I brought it just down kind of on the bottom lash line there. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Okay, back into sauce. I'm going to bring that down here to my lower lash line. I love this so much. I don't know why this look is just killing me right now. <laughs> okay, so then into my little blending brush and into In Fuego again. And just bringing that in just a little bit tighter up. Then where I place sauce. Ooh, kill them. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. And then I think I'm just going to go back in 
with my little mustard yellow shade just one more time and just try and intensify this just a little bit more on the lower lash line and oh yeah baby I think I'm done with the eyes right now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner next this is the M Cosmetics illustrative eyeliner this is a brush tip I like brush tips I don't like felt tips so I'm going in with my brush tip I just found this on my thing the other day I know I, I knew I had it but I never tried it before and I really like it so I'm just gonna go in and line And bam, look how easy that was. Like, just, this is good. This is good eyeliner. Until you go and mess it up like I just did. Killing it, killing it. So that's as good as they're gonna get. We're back. This is it. This one turned out a little wonky. I tried to fix this one to match it. They both turned out a little wonky. But we will cover those with some lashes. Got my glue, my duo lash glue. I got these lashes. I got them from Dollar Tree. So they're like a dollar, 25. Look at these lashes. I thought we'd give them a try. Why not? For like a buck. I don't know. They didn't look awful. And they actually had a few different styles and stuff there. So I thought I'd try these out. See how they work. They come. They do come with the glue. But um, I'm not about to use that glue. But like they definitely don't look like mink lashes. So with ones like this, I kind of just like to like grr, 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 bend them up a little bit to make them less uh, stiff. So they go on their eyes a little bit better. Would you guys like to see like a Dollar Tree, a full face Dollar Tree makeup video? I could do that. Let me know if you want to see that down below. While we're waiting for the glue to dry, let's go in some contour. Going with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Going to grab this BH Cosmetics 126 brush. This is my favorite little contour brush. And I'm going to go in and just contour just a little bit. I don't like to do much. I like to be more bronzed than I do contoured. So, gotta help him in focus for this. Like, I just can't see. And if I can't see, that scares me. I could be out of focus for like half of the video or like the whole video. And look how pretty this eye look is. Like, that's cool. Like, I want to be able to post this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's put these bad boys on my eyes. These are stiff little guys. These definitely aren't the easiest to put on. They look a little plasticky. Okay, it's okay. We'll make it work. Let's go in with my other one. It's like even when I was putting the glue on, it's like it just wanted the glue to want to like slide off. They're like silicone. It just didn't want to stick. And it's almost like they don't want to stick now either. It's like the glue is just like slip sliding. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. I'm going to let them dry there for a minute, and I'm going to go with some bronzer while I'm doing that. I'm going to go in with my Moda Pro BMX 130 pointed blush, and I'm just going to bronze my face with this. And I'm using the Pure Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. I always like to bring it down my neck a bit too. And then, boop, boop, right under my nose. Let's go in with some blush. This is the Model Co blush, and this is in the shade Peach Bellini. And it looks like this. It's like this peachy color. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 514 blush brush. I've never used this before, but it looks pretty, so I wanted to try it today. Mmm, it is pretty. And for some reason lately, I've been liking to take my blush just a little bit up on the temples where I bronzed. I don't know why. Just weird thing. I've been enjoying lately. Okay, let's finish my lashes. Ugh, I'm scared. I should not. I should have known better. Dollar lashes. I'm gonna go in with some uh, mascara. CoverGirl Lash Volume. This is the waterproof. And I just like to do this just to blend in my natural, like my real lashes, with the fake boys. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look awful. Like, I've had worse lashes. I don't know, this left one is kind of strange. And lastly, for the face, I'm going to go in with my broken Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlight using my, you can tell I like Luxie, hey? Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. Let's just highlight my face. 
I got this in my BoxyCharm box this month and I love it. It's the matte liquid lipstick and this is by the Beauty Crop. This is in the shade Date Night. Alright, and then to complete the fall makeup look today, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm going to spray my face. Alright everyone, and this is the completed makeup look. This is the completed fall makeup look that I did for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And like I said, comment if you do want to see like a Dollar Tree full face using Dollar Tree makeup tutorial or dollar makeup or whatever. Let me know down below if you do want to see that and I'll make sure to go pick some stuff up. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.